If you struggle with doubts when manifesting, then today's video is for you. I'm gonna give you three practical ways to deal with doubts when manifesting. So keep watching this video and learn how to use them. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kenneth Wong and my channel is all about spirituality, self-help, and manifestation. Now, if you're a fan of any of these topics, then hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today's video topic is on doubt. This is a big topic and when it comes to manifestation and I've been getting a lot of questions and comments from you guys in my blog and in my videos asking how to deal with doubts. So here I am answering your question. Manifesting is all about getting into vibrational alignment with the feeling you want to experience, which then attracts that desire into your reality using the law of attraction. And remember that the law of attraction only works when you stay in vibrational alignment with the feeling you want to experience. But doubt can block you from manifesting what you want because it is a negative energy with very low vibration. It's very difficult to maintain that vibrational alignment with the positive outcome you want to manifest when you're getting bogged down by all these doubtful thoughts. So that's why I want to give you three ways on how to deal with doubts when they show up so you can clear that resistance to your manifestation. And without any further delay, let's get started. The first way to deal with doubts when manifesting is to start by manifesting something small, especially if you're just getting started in manifesting. The reason for this is if you're trying to manifest something that is really near and dear to your heart, it's going to bring up a lot of fear and a lot of doubt. So my advice to you would be to start by manifesting something that is smaller, something that is a nice to have rather than something that's a must have. And this will look different for everyone. So for example, if you are really attached to your romantic relationships, but you're more relaxed when it comes to your job or your career, then focus on that first, right? Maybe you can manifest a new job or maybe you wanna manifest a promotion or maybe you just wanna manifest a great day at work. By manifesting something that is smaller, you can detach from the outcome more easily so you can practice releasing your doubts when manifesting. Remember that manifesting is a skill. So manifesting these smaller things is what gives you the experience to manifest bigger and better things with more confidence and less doubt. The second way to deal with doubt when manifesting is to focus on manifesting the feeling rather than the form. When you shift your attention away from the physical desire to the feeling that you want to experience, it takes the pressure off your manifestation because you literally cannot fail. For example, let's say you want to manifest a relationship because you want to feel loved. Instead of focusing on manifesting the relationship itself, shift your focus to manifesting the feeling of love in your daily life. So perhaps you're going to be more kind to yourself or maybe you treat yourself to something nice or you just say positive affirmations for love every day. You do whatever it takes to get closer to the feeling you want to experience. When you make it your only goal to manifest the feeling you want to experience, doubt is less likely going to show up because you always have a choice in how you want to feel. As I explain in my book, Feeling Good, your external circumstances are a direct reflection of your internal state. So what this means is that cultivating the feeling that you want to experience is actually the best way for you to attract that desire into your reality. Because when you shift your internal state, your external reality will shift along with it. The final way to deal with doubt when manifesting is to forgive yourself for having these doubtful thoughts. Remember that whatever you focus on will grow. And this applies to things that you want and things that you don't want, including doubt. So don't make doubt your enemy. Negative feelings like doubt reveal to you how you don't want to feel, which is actually the perfect opportunity for you to clarify how you do want to feel. So when doubtful thoughts show up, simply notice them and forgive yourself. And then take it to the next level by thanking them for giving you a heads up that you are out of alignment with what you want. 
So you need to take corrective action to get back into vibrational alignment with your desire. I want to give you a beautiful affirmation you can use whenever doubtful thoughts show up. So whenever you feel doubtful, say to yourself, thank you for showing me what I don't want so I can clarify what I do want. So instead of beating yourself up over having these doubtful thoughts, which only creates more of that negative energy, this affirmation actually thanks your doubt, which interrupts its negative momentum and gives you the chance to pivot back into the positive energy you want to manifest more of. And that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, then give this video a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'll see you in the next video.